to end the race for the fifth congressional district seat being vacated by longtime Representative Doug Lamborn. Jeff Crank, now the presumptive winner. You can see the Republican is ahead of Democrat River Gasson by a wide margin right now. Our polling experts have called the race for Crank. News 5's Bill Folsom is here after sitting down with Crank one on one today to talk about going to Washington. Bill. Yeah, Crank tells me he doesn't want to officially claim victory until the race is called by specifically by the Associated Press. He also has to start thinking about the quick transition it takes to get a staff and open an office by January. I also want to thank so many people who are here in this room, all of you. Let me first thank you. On election night, Jeff Crank thanks supporters, telling them he's confident with a 13-point lead in totals. It is a margin remaining consistent with each vote total update. As more numbers come in, he's also hearing from the nation's capital about what's likely ahead. It is put your foot on the gas and go time right now. There's a fast track for congressional newcomers. There's committee assignments that need to be done. There's, uh, you know, ethics briefings to take. There's a uh, new member orientation. There's a new member orientation next week in Congress. Crank has to open an office in Washington, D.C. and staff it, and there's figuring out how to live between two cities. My wife and I are going to continue to live here, and I plan on flying back pretty much every weekend, uh, back and forth on a plane, but I still have to have a place to stay when I'm there, and so i got to get all that stuff laid out. As a newcomer, there's also lobbying to get a place on a committee. Crank knows the Armed Services Committee is important to Southern Colorado. The, the member of Congress from the 5th Congressional District from the very first one was Bill Armstrong. And Bill Armstrong served on the House Armed Services Committee. So did Ken Kramer and Joel Heffley and Doug Lamborn. Those are the previous members from this district. Tradition does not guarantee an appointment. You know, I'm going to make the argument that this district's one, always had someone on that committee. But two, we've got five military installations. We've got this very robust economic uh, defense sector here in the community. Crank also plans to honor what he sees as the will of the voters. And it was a mandate on the economy to fix the broken economy, get inflation under control, and get control of our, of our border. And that's what I'm going to Washington to do. And he is unwavering about his conservative principle. He also tells me he will be reaching across the aisle, especially when it comes to issues impacting Colorado. When the race is called, he tells me he'll make calls to all of Colorado's delegation in Washington, Republicans and Democrats, congressmen and senators, to talk about representing the state. Diane? Bill, thank you. While the results are not official, Democrat congressional candidate River Gasson shared with News 5 her intentions to run again in 2026. She released a statement saying in part, quote, I am proud of the campaign we ran. We have received the highest margins in our favor for the Democratic Party for our district. The fight is not over. It is just beginning. Later, she says, I know that a win for us is coming soon, and I hope I have earned your continued support moving on to our 2026 campaign. She added that Crank agreed to future debates in the next election cycle.